Uh, since our original call up to, uh, to support uh, the ESAD mission, um, we've been uh, assisting the various food banks uh, in India, uh, Imperial County. It says that they, it's a sigh of relief for them that I've noticed. Um, them wanting us to be here, wanting us to help them and support them, and especially some of these smaller communities that may not get some of that big city support. In rural and isolated areas like ours, we're the first to get hit and the last to recover. So um, long term, this is going to hurt us for a very, very, very long time. We have a 15-member staff here. I mean, we're the engine that could. We do amazing things, getting food to 20,000 people a month with 15 staff. And uh, part of that, uh, that magic is having really great volunteers. As you can imagine, that volunteer core has evaporated. A lot of them are seniors, many are students. Uh, we don't want to put them at risk, but it leaves a very small you know, st skeleton staff to do way more than we are capable of doing on our own. So we are so grateful that the National Guard answered that call and is here to help us. Um, we really need them right now. We've been helping out a lot of families, 100 plus families. And so we've been getting up early since five o'clock in the morning, getting everything prepared. It feels good being out here, helping out.